You let me know if you need something. Uh, Just to let you know. I do it all. Except cardio, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. Mad sense. I think I just shriveled up inside myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time here. How does this work? Well, uh, when a man and a woman... Oh, not like uh. that. I know how that works. Man of your physique, you never know. <laughs> I mean, is there a catalogue or something? Well, I'm free, sweetheart. Does free in this case mean available for use or clearance rack? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want it to mean, silly. <laughs> You're not exactly the sort to be tossing around the subject of physique. Hey, some guys are into ladies like me. Oh, God. Into ladies like you, you mean BWs? You mean BBWs? I left out the second B on purpose. If you don't like what you see, take a hike, Buster. Oh, God. Look, I'm trying to solve a mystery. Oh, a detective? Don't you be dusting me, because I've had me fingers everywhere. Oh, Please, stop trying so hard. Oh, my God. What's with the one-way glass back there? What one-way glass? That's a mirror, silly. Yeah, sure it is. Next you're gonna tell me you had it installed because you enjoy looking at yourself. Oh. <laughs> okay, one-way glass. That's Jiminy's area back there. Who's Jiminy? Who the hell is Jiminy? If that indeed is his real name. He runs the... Well, I, I probably shouldn't be talking about it. Go on. The cameras were supposed to pretend they aren't there. Like on Big Brother, if we talk about the camera, it breaks the illusion of reality. Right, people love brothels for an overwhelming and unbroken dose of straight reality. Tell me more about this Jiminy character. How come? Because he's lead suspect. Uh... And because he made me blow up my favourite pawn shop earlier. Not Jiminy. Yes, Jiminy. Alright, chat is back. Refresh your, refresh the page. If your chat's still loading, and it should load up for you. Chat is back. Ugh. How do I get to Jiminy? You don't get to Jiminy. Nobody gets to Jiminy. He locks himself in the server room for months at a time. Surely Jiminy's got to come out sometimes. To drain the litter. To drop a deuce. To drop a deuce? Every six months he. On second thought, I'm not interested. Last time I saw Jiminy was when a scented jasmine body candle was knocked over and set the curtains on fire. Lost a whole bank of servers and a load of potential blackmail fees. Since then, he's so scared to death of fire he installed heat sensors everywhere. Bum, 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 bum. Tell me more about the cameras. Everything that goes on here gets documented and filed on a huge server back there. For what purpose? Merchandising, of course. Uh, so how many of you guys there are trying to find out where this club is so you can get in on some of this hot demon action we got going on? What a sexy devil, I tell ya. Those horns, baby. I wanna get wrapped up, that gives me, mmm. Having sex with this woman's like having a foursome, I bet. There's so much is going on, here. Yeah. So the last time you saw Jiminy outside of his oval was... The Great Fire of last Tuesday. Now you show up for work with so much as a sunburn and the heat sensors go off. Merchandising? In a whorehouse? Sure. Didn't you see the gift shop on the way in? Mugs, magnets, mouse maps, anything you like to remember us by. Why would I want to look at a picture of myself doing the nasty while drinking tea? Well, if you don't like them, you can pay even more to have them destroyed. Can I see the photos? The gift shop outside stores them all. The idea is to have a poke around in this room. <laughs> then have a poke around with the gift shop on your way out. Hmm. 
Thanks. I've learned enough. Ah, uh, she's so sexy. Hmm. Hey, you see that footballer over there? Hmm, do I ever. That's Shorty Polchester. What I wouldn't give for a kick to his corners. Ah. Oh. Do you like him? Because he was just talking about you. Really? What did he say? Uh. He just called you a goddess. He did? Oh, yeah. What's the name of that Greek one who could turn milk into yogurt just by looking at him? <laughs> he didn't really say that, did he? <laughs> Please don't cry. Oh. It's making me go even limper, if that was possible. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? Uh... Is it about you and me and something really gross? <laughs> the truth is, I'm not a very good prostitute. Uh, not very good. Uh. It's... Hell, that's not exactly <laughs> a secret. Ask anyone. Oh, yes. I'm heard of the lattice. Don't look at me. Uh. He certainly seems to be enjoying himself. We'll soon change that, I'm sure. Well, sweet George W. Christ on a tractor, <laughs> if it ain't the old mate Shorty Polchester. Oi, round here, nobody calls me Shorty. <laughs> you get me? Uh, what do they call you then? Guess, mate, you bloody guess. <laughs> they still call you Shorty, don't they? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Keep telling them to call me by my Christian name, Eugene. Shorty kind of breaks me stride, if you get me. I can't believe you just said the word Christian in here. The more I talk to him, the less I like him. Same feeling of fallen heroism I got with Mole Santa when I was six. Hello, Monsieur. Looks like Shorty got the second last pick of the litter. Hey, can I get one of those when he's done? You want ice cube? No, I was talking. Ice cube? Oh, come on, man, Bobby is very nice. Oh, God. No, I meant the... Ah, you want finger? No. What? Do it. I give you pokey pokey. I very good. I get every place. Ah! Oh. Look, no thanks. You know to want mine pokey? Okay, I let girls know you like it, yes? Chakwantra, fat boy like it pokey, yes? Ah. Uh. What? <laughs> Mate, you into the weird stuff, eh? Wildcat, this one you can have her when I'm done. I'm fine, thanks. Ah. Uh. Let's give him a roofie. Nah, can't be asked. Catwalk? Oh, I hope that's reinforced. <laughs> oh, I hope that's reinforced. <laughs> that pole better be tough and carbon steel. <laughs> that pole better. Spotlight. Spotlight's bright like the sun, but without any of that nasty searing heat that comes with it. Oh, God. Must be one of those. Must be one of those. Must, must be one of those. Okay, Shaquandra, that's her name, is Shaquanda. Cameras and wires, certainly fits with the terrorist's appetite for technology. Uh... Listen, can I tell you something? Okay, but please, don't be hard of them. Let's see, uh... I've never understood why fat women like to wear skin-tight leggings. Just leave me be, you horrible, horrible man. Aww, oh. don't be mean to her. Listen. Okay, able to... Uh... Words cannot describe how unsuited for your job you are. Just leave me be, you horrible, horrible man. Uh... Listen, can Okay, hey, book. I was lying before. Short is actually crazy about you. He is? Yeah, he's seen you looking at him and he's been waiting for you to come over and take control. Oh, God. I can only imagine how much he'd like to, uh, lose himself in your talents. I've got talents. I can tongue me own belly button. Ah! Oh! Like that one. Ah! Oh! There and show him what you're made of. Kick it off with a good sexy opening line. Ah! Oh! You can do this. 
Oh, you make me feel so much better about yourself. I can do this. I can and I will. Oh, God. How about a no-strings-attached committed relationship, big boy? I've already picked out the names of our unborn children. Christ! You're joking me! No! Oh! <laughs> That's an image that'll burn itself so far into my brain that I'll need a belt sander to remove it. <laughs> well, well. So that's why they call him Shorty. Must have got that nickname in the locker room. Ah. Uh. Well, well. <laughs> shorty, Shorty, Shorty. What would your wife say? Mm. <laughs> Actually, that sounds more like what you'll be saying after she finds out what with your grapes chopped off and stuffed <laughs> down your neck. <laughs> oh my god. Shorty, shorty, sh Actually, that sounds more like stuff down your neck. Oh my god. Big smiles, everyone. <laughs> Time to hit the gift shop. <laughs> the 24 7 web feed to the Money Shop 3000 is streaming once again. <laughs> Looks like some sort of vault door locked from the inside. Oh god. Smoke alarm? Hey, that's not a webcam. That's a Flame X 6000. Must be the fire alarm Shorty was talking about outside. My neighbour has one of those. Has the sensitivity up so high it goes off whenever I pass wind. <laughs> hey, that's not all. Okay, let's go out to the gift shop now. <laughs> Get a photo of that threesome. Oh, that was disappointing. Welcome to the furry. Is there any? I need, uh photographs merchandise you have chosen photographs is this correct yes yes welcome to the gallery of sins four people have signed in today please confirm your identity uh eugene shorty polchester welcome back mr polchester there are currently one Incriminating photos of you available. To purchase a family photo collection of various sizes, say photographs. To okay. purchase an attractive t-shirt, say t-shirt. To purchase a novelty mug, say mug. To wipe this photo from our records, say delete. Oh god, I would like uh, photos. Photos. You have chosen delete. Is this correct? No. T-shirt. T-shirt. Okay, let's try again. Please select an option. T-shirt. T-shirt. You have chosen. Delete. Ah, oh, God. Correct. No. No. Okay, let's try again. Please select an option. Mug. Mug. You have chosen. Delete. Oh, God. Is correct. No. No. Okay, let's try again. Please select an option. Delete. Uh, uh, delete. You have chosen. T-shirt. Oh. Your body is being scanned. Extra. 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 Large. T-shirt. Printing <laughs> now and is being charged to your membership account. <laughs> Please collect your T-shirt <laughs> in the tray below. Thank you for using the Money Shop 3000, Mr. Polchester. Remember, we're always watching. Have a sexy day. All this work, and what do I get for it at the end of it? A date with Doreen. And people wonder why I drink myself to sleep every night. <laughs> it's an offensive and disgusting photo of a Philandering footballer's latest sex romp on a t shirt. <laughs> extra, extra, extra large. Shorty, shorty, shorty. What would your wife say? Mm. Actually, that sounds stuffed up. Can I give rupees? What are you, an idiot? Okay, let's go. <laughs> give this to his wife, I guess. 
Let's go give that to his wife, and then maybe he'll... Reservation will be free. There you go, ma'am. Hey, Lisha. Went shopping today for a new look. Did somebody say my favorite words? Tell me, <laughs> does this bring out my eyes? Oh. Oh. It's what everyone's wearing this season behind your slender yet orange back. May I have that, please? You son of a fat bastard, ho dog, where the toss do you get off ruining my life with your tossing antics? Oh my god, she's so fat, don't tell me you're into that. This is going all over the max tomorrow and I'm taking 100% of everything you've got, you grown manion. <laughs> well, Doreen, still on for tonight. Oh, Hector, are you asking me out on a date? Oh, dear I'm God. Flattered. The last thing I want to do is flatter you. Remember, <laughs> this is all business. We can chew over the necessary particulars at dinner then, yeah? If you've got us a table at Shea, then you can chew over my particulars all evening, sir. Ah! Oh, poor bags, what have I done? This is a regret already. Oh, well. Probably get a fumble in a shadowy alleyway out of it. Or just close my eyes and pretend it's Helen Mirren. <laughs> just closing up, Toot. You skip ahead and I'll meet you there. I'm wetting myself with excitement. Uh. Oh, God. Yes. Yes, I understand. I agree. He is exactly that what you just said. Pas de problème, ma petite débile. I am striking you from the list of significant people as we are speaking. Good day, Madame Polchester. Oh, sacré mou, he is back. He thinks I will forget if he returns and tries later. Sir, out of curiosity, does sir happen to have a table free? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Is there a problem? <laughs> no and yes. No for you and yes for me. Welcome to Chez Le Buffet. Your table for two is ready. Finally. Oh dear God. Will sir be requiring that the two chairs be pushed together to accommodate him? No, thank you. I'd like to sit as far from my date as possible. And will your date be along shortly? Send her straight in. She'll be the one wearing pink camouflage. Oh, mon dieu. <laughs> right, let's get this over with. You're so forward, sweetie. We haven't even ate yet. <laughs> oh, Christ, this is going to be a long night. <laughs> Oi, Garcon. Oh, God. Sir! What the fuck? What are they eating? It's like slop. <laughs> no need to leave your seat, sir. Here at Chez La Buffet, we have the food come to you. A man like you would like that, wouldn't you, sir? Wait a minute. Are you implying I find it difficult getting in and out of seats? No, no. What I mean, a true English gentleman like yourself who works hard all day can now relax and be served. Hmm. Will you be having something to eat with us today? Well, seeing as how we are sitting in a restaurant, what do you think? One must never make assumptions about the overeating habits of one's patrons, sir. Right, so where are the menus? No menus, just this plethora of colour, what you see. Small, medium or uh, fat. Small, medium, or fat? I believe the word you are looking for is large. Did I say fat? I mean large. <laughs> Always get the two flippy floppy, very sorry. <laughs> Listen, Yakov, if you're given attitude, you can get rid of it right now or things are going ugly. Sir, it is merely my mediocre grip of the English communication. Is it now? And clears. Things reached their ugliness as you enter the room and can only improve, yes? Now, what would you like from the serving station? What are my choices? All three are the same. Uh... The middle one? The middle one. Your choices say much about you, sir. Ah! Oh. 
What is that? I'll need another plate. That one's dirty. Oh, wait. That's my food, isn't it? Sir is, I'm sure, used to much larger portions, but I assure you I shall come around again a moment more. Now, what will the amusing couple be having to drink? <laughs> amusing? No. Charming? Yes. Sir? Uh. What have you got with cyanide in it? What have you got with cyanide in it? I fear it's going to be that sort of evening. <laughs> oh, well, then save room for the almond roulade. Eating in this place is like one big game of Russian roulade. No, the Russians make it with beets. And you, miss? <laughs> I'll have a mentos and coke. Coming right away. Oh god. I really should get more vegetables into my diet. What is that? I never thought I'd say this, but I'm not that hungry. Looks just as indigestible as mine. The obligatory plastic flower. Why they think that'll enhance your dining experience beats me. I would have preferred a candle. At least then I wouldn't be able to see what I'm eating in such fine detail. Uh. Server. A sick bag might be more appropriate. <laughs> Napkin? I need a towel in this place. <laughs> That's where she put the keys to her filing cabinet. I need that. Hey, hands away from the Gigi. I've killed people for less sugar. Uh. Reminds me of a doggy in marmalade. Uh. Well, this is awkward. It was so charming of you to invite me on a date. It's not exactly a date. We're just eating some food at the same table. Call it what you want, but I know a date when I see it. How's your swill? Delish. It's a good job I wore my control pads. What about yours? Ah. Oh, I left mine at home. So what is it with you and guns? Guns make me feel safe. They momentarily plugged that vacant void in my life where a man should really be. Do you know what I'm saying, Hector? Uh... Sorry, I almost slipped into a coma for a second. What was that about a vacant void? Oh, you naughty man. Ah. What makes you such a catch, then? Well, I've got all my own tea. It's not you, it's me. What? Sorry, for a second there, I thought this was a breakup. I don't take breakups well. Last time, Keith, his name was. I'd love to go over to his parents' home to apologize for the whole thing, but a court order says otherwise. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the right to remain silent? Why are you going to handcuff me? Oh. No, but you should exercise your rights when you can. <laughs> I feel we have sufficiently cultivated an amicable friendship. Can I have your keys now? Oh, Hector, this night isn't about keys anymore. Actually, it still is for me. Uh. I'd like to ask a few questions about the gun. So how is it you're still on the single scene? I'm holding out for a girl with lower standards. Well, <laughs> surprise! You just found her. I have standards so low, you'll have to hoover them up off the carpet. And here we are. Oh, God. Uh. Do you mind if we talk about the gun I brought in earlier? When's your birthday? I'm going to get you teeth whitening vouchers. All the same, you lot, on our first date, and you're already trying to change me. So it is a date. Damn it! Yes, I read it. The uh, Bald Kappa is a new subscriber emote on this channel. You can use it any channel when you're subscribed. Just type Bald Guy with no space and capitalize the B and G. Again, that's Bald Guy with no space. And also, if you subscribe by tomorrow night, you have one entry to win a PlayStation 4. The fellow who purchased that sniper rifle. After this, would you like to come back to my place for a latte? Look, in case you can't tell, this date isn't going well. You're teasing. I don't know if you can feel it, 
But something magical is about to happen between us. Oh, God. Please let it be a disappearing act. Uh... Did you bring those keys along? Listen to me prattle on. What about you, Inspector? What's this case you've been working on? Finally. Right, about your filing cabinet. All right, I confess. I did it. Guilty as charged. Are you going to lock me up and throw away the key? <laughs> I'm tempted, I really am. You should. Uh... Hey, speaking of whatever we were just talking about, can I have your keys? Have you ever tried naked blindfold cooking? Very sexy if you don't mind having your bits singed. What? I tried it once. I was on this stakeout when I got kidnapped by triads, locked in a warehouse for nine days, and was forced to cook cockroaches over a cigarette lighter for me own survival. Ugh. Fascinating. You must have so Ugh. many great stories. And I'm a great listener. Okay, so this one time... Where the heck are those drinks? I'm gagging here. Uh... That reminds me of a funny story. Can I have your keys? Want to try some of mine? It all came off the same trough. Yes, but I've been breathing heavily on mine, so it's a bit sexier. Ah! Uh, ha, 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 ha. Do you mind if we just sit here in silence for a bit? Thanks. All right, I need to roofie her drink, her food. Behind you. Might as well go for broke. Ew. <laughs> it's actually improved the colour a bit. Ew. What was behind me? Hey? You shouted, behind you! And I looked and looked and didn't see anything. <laughs> I think I would have remembered saying that. Oh my god. Well, you did. Nah, I swear to you, I did no such thing. Uh, eat. Uh, you want to try some of my food? Reminds me of a doggy in marmalade. Uh. Do you mind if we just sit here in silence? Hey, I don't know where your hands have been. Uh, you don't want to know. A sick bag might be more appropriate. Napkin on it. The snoofers have actually improved the color a bit. Still ain't gonna eat it though. How do I get her to eat my roof? Roofies. Uh, need her to eat my roofies. Reminds me of a doggy in marmalade. Let's see. I'd like to ask a few questions about the gun. When you look at me, I feel your eyes go right through my soul. Can you tell what I'm thinking? Probably something shallow and slightly off color. My god, it's true! I feel we have sufficiently cultivated an amicable friendship. Can I have your keys now? Oh, Hector, this night isn't about keys anymore. Actually, it still is for me. Uh... Do you mind if we just sit here in silence for a bit? Thanks. Let's see. How much blood, vomit, and gravy do you think one piece of wood can absorb? Let's talk to the host. Gargon. And what other services may I perform for sir within reason? Uh, complimentary and acids now. I'll take some of them complimentary antacids now. Certainly, sir. You popping a breast mint will benefit all of us. Uh -huh. That's it. No, 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 sir. It is simply my... Grip of the language. Yeah, yeah, you said. <laughs> um... Where are our drinks? Ah, you did not receive them? No, and I've been considering drinking the flower water. Sadly, the flower is fake. Surely you are close to a stroke. I will get some right away to balance your sodium intake. Anything else? Um... I'd like a fresh plate. But sir has barely touched his. Ah, no mind. You shall likely have another chance at it again later. 
Uh-oh. And you, miss. No, thank you. This is lovely. As lovely.